Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. My name is Adam, and welcome back to another uh, Alibre CAD video. Today we've got something a little different, um, and that is I'm going to be trying to get Alibre Adam uh, to be working on Linux. It is not officially released for Linux, but I know there are some workarounds that you can use to get uh, Windows software running on Linux. Um, I'm going to start with showing that I did um, deactivate my Windows copy of Alibre Atom 3D, which should allow me to activate another version on a different PC. So let's see if we can get let's see if we can get Alibre working on Linux. Let me swap over to my Linux PC here. All right, here we go. So here's the Linux PC. I will mention that I am very much a Linux noob. I don't know a whole lot about using Linux. I've used it for the basics. Um, I've been running a D&D campaign on it with OBS, but other than that, I haven't really done much else of um, Linux. I know my way around the basics. I'm not really scared of the terminal. I just, I don't really have the experience uh, that some people do in Linux. So forgive me if I'm doing something really dumb or I use the wrong terminology or, or the wrong vernacular. I am not an expert by any means. I've grown up on Windows. So here we go over to the Linux desktop. All right. So here's the Linux desktop. It's an old Toshiba satellite something or other. I don't even know the model. It's circa 2013. Um, I did actually manage to get a library installed. Here's actually the setup um, that I can probably toss. Um, I did get it running with Wine. I don't know what version of Wine I have. I have the one for my version of Linux Mint. Yeah, no, ver no idea what version of Linux Mint I'm using. I know I'm using the mid-tier uh, version. It's not the nicest one for like powerful PCs, but it's not the super potato one either. Anyway, so what I have tried is just Installing it, which does seem to have worked. If you look, it does seem to have um, Libre Atom 3D loaded on. But if I try to launch it, you can tell that Wine is launching. I do have, it does have the Wine logo down there. But I get type initializer for system URI parser through an exception. Um, I don't know what any of that means. No clue. If I were to guess... Say maybe it doesn't really know. Maybe Alibre is trying to grab some system information, but because it's not on Windows, it can't. Maybe that's all I can assume. We're gonna try. We're gonna try updating some stuff here and see if. Um, okay, I think we're fine there. Did we fix our issue? No, we did not. Okay, so let's try. Maybe if I launch it through Steam, I know Steam Proton is um, super powerful. Again, I'm not a Linux nerd. I'm a Windows guy. I don't really know what I'm doing on Linux. I'm just approaching this as a guy who's always used Windows and wants to get some software running on Linux. Maybe he doesn't like Windows 11. Maybe I don't like Windows 11. And um, I'm kind of looking at maybe swapping to Linux in the future. And I'd like to make sure that my preferred CAD software works on Linux. So let's see if I can get it running here. By the way, if anyone has a, a solution for this issue, if someone knows immediately what's going on, then please let me know in the comments. Hopefully someone has a solution. Someone who's smarter and knows, knows Linux better than I do, which isn't hard. This laptop is quite old. I didn't, I guess I didn't really look to see if um, it met minimum system requirements for a library. I guess we'll find out. Library. There we go. Add a game. Um, add a non-Steam game. Alibre Atom 3D. Add selected programs. Settings. Um, compatibility. There we go. All right. Go back to settings. Compatibility. Try Proton Experimental. Um, let's try opening a library atom. 
Still trying to run it through wines. Oh, here we go. Hmm. That ability. Here we go. Of course, I have to use Proton. Maybe that'll do it. Maybe. It's downloading Proton, I think. Yeah, okay. Sorry, it's an old laptop, guys. Old laptop. Look at that six gigs of RAM go. It does have an SSD in it now, though. It didn't when I first put Linux on it, but I swapped it over. Boonga, 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 boonga. Jesus, this battery is dying fast. Power cable. New battery, too. Not a good new battery, but it's good. It's a better battery than what it had. Because it was completely borked. Okay. Trying to run here. Oh. I think it crashed. Okay. What if we do all that and cut out those launch options? So it's not trying to do like wine and proton. No, still doesn't like it. Hmm. Um. Well, guys, that um, kind of a dead end video didn't really achieve anything. But um, I did show that I tried at least. Hopefully there's a simple solution out there. Maybe one of you will be able to um, to see this error and figure it out. Here's the error on screen right here. That's what it says. So um, hopefully you guys can, can figure that out. Because um, I'd really love to see Adam running on, um, on Linux. This is Linux Mint. Let me see if I can figure out what version of Mint I'm on. One second. There we go. That's my version of Linux Mint. Linux Mint 21.1.2, sorry, 21.2 20, Victoria. That's my version. I'm on Linux Mint. Um, that's, that's what I got. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm Adam. You guys have been fantastic. Um, check out the website and my Discord for more weekend vibes. Uh, I'll see you next time, next weekend. Bye-bye.